What is this phone conversation? Who is he talking to? Because she said he went to see a man named he went to see Teddy and never yeah. came back. Yeah. You get yourself a set of flashcards, man. Just. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, what about a notebook? Oh my god. They're gonna show the exclusive, never before seen movie. That's stupid! But all they're gonna watch it and talk about it. Shelly, please let us watch it. I'm absolutely sure that she's Shelly. Oh, hey, the new king in town. Yeah, you know. Stop getting around and look, look. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. It's Shelly's first. Ah! Shelly! Watching Memento. Memento. Brandon's recommendation. This, apparently, this is what made Jason Nolan Jason Nolan. From what Brandon said. Jason Nolan is the actor. No, Jason Nolan is the creator. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's a picture of a dead body, it looks like. Or something on his hand. Mm-hmm. Or something written. See? Who did I say? Did I say Christopher Nolan? I said Jeremy Nolan. I don't know who. Jason Nolan? Oh, I said Jason Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Jason Blum. That's why I said Jason. Christopher Nolan. We going backwards? Yes. It's Joe from the Matrix. It's Sopranos. It feels like. Lenny! It's Leonard. I guess I've already told you about my condition. Oh, well, only every time I see you. My car. This is your car. Oh, you're in a playful mood. I'm just trying to have a little fun. Yeah, it's just this fucked up building. Why do you want to go there? Don't remember. What are you talking about? These tracks are only a few days old. Tracks? What are you, Pocahontas? Teddy, don't believe his lies. He's the one. Kill him. Oh, fuck this. You're gonna pay for what you did. Yeah. Clue, you freak. Beg my wife's forgiveness before I blow your brains out. Yeah, man. You don't know what's going on. You don't even know my name. Teddy. That's because you read it off a fucking picture. You don't know who you are. No! There's nothing on the drawers. That should look anyway. Nothing except the Gideon Bible. Sammy Jankus had the same approval. Remember what? But he, he really had no system. He wrote Sammy some Jankus? Notes, buddy. Hi. Uh, I'm Mr. Shelby from 304. Alright, what can I do for you, Leonard? Um, Bert. Bert. I'm not sure. I think I may have asked you to hold my calls. You don't remember saying that. Well, that's the thing. I have this condition. Amnesia. No, 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 no. It's different from that. I have no short-term memory. I know who I am. I know all about myself. I just... Since my injury, I can't make new memories. I've told you this before, haven't I? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't mean to mess with you, but... Oh. It's so weird. You don't remember me at all. No. We've talked a bunch of times. I'm sure we have. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's the last thing you remember? What? So you don't remember what you just did? I mean, I'm exactly the opposite. How long have I been staying here? Who's that actor? Oh. Well. And you're holding my calls? Like you said. What do you say? Okay. How long have I been standing this here? This guy's an exception. Oh. You know this guy? Yeah, it's your friend, right? What makes you think he's my friend? He's not my friend. Okay. What, his name's Teddy? Teddy, yeah. All right. This guy. He's here, all right. Lenny! You really need to fuck what's going on. You kind of learned it. So it's going back little by little. That becomes an important thing. If you have a piece of information which... Who is this? Sammy Jenkins. Remember Sammy Jenkins. John Edward Gamble. This guy told me his name was Teddy. 
Don't believe his lies. Yeah. Mr. Gamble? Buddy, is that you? John Gamble? Buddy, it's Teddy. Stay there. I'll be right over. Okay. I'll be ready. He said John, and he said uh -huh. Lenny and Teddy. Man, this is weird, making us recall it like him. Yeah, I know. Like we're only getting the information. It's kind of backwards, so you can see him in the mirror. It says John, he's got or his chest. I know. Drug dealer. Okay, so, but he gets set on the trail. I figured you out, and then, but he can't remember. Okay, now he heads out the door. He has his picture. And he's just going off of what he's looking at. Instead of... You get yourself a set of flashcards, man. Just... That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. What about a notebook? Maybe he's afraid it's, that it will get taken away, or... Yeah, but he's got these photos. He did say, if you want to remember something permanently, to put it... I forget the exact words, but he said something else about it. I remember everything up until my injury. I just can't make new memories. So I shouldn't remember talking to you. What are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? I use habit and routine to make my life possible. I got a reason. I find it interesting in that relation just because of what I went through with my dad. And having to go over the same stuff over and over again with him. Yeah. I'll touch on that like after the movie. Yeah, it's difficult. Uh, Remind me now. Natalie. You don't remember me. So beat up too. I'm sorry, I should. So you have information for me. Is that what your little note says? Yeah. Must be tough living your life according to a couple of scraps of paper. I guess that's why you have those freaky tattoos. So like right then, he remembered that he has those tattoos? Or I'm surprised he didn't go. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh yeah. My friend tattoos. Really trace it. But his face on his driver's license looked really familiar. I think he, I think he's been in the bar maybe. Are you sure you want this? Have I told you what this man did? But even if you get revenge, you're not going to remember it. You're not even going to know that it happened. My wife deserves a vengeance. Doesn't make any difference whether I know about it. Just because there are things I don't remember doesn't make my actions meaningless. The world doesn't just disappear when you close your eyes, does it? Hmm. Anyway. I added an address in here. It might be useful. Um, a guy I knew used to do bigger deals there. It's isolated. Sounds perfect. We are both survivors. What's I wonder what her story is. I don't know, but it doesn't look like she's in like a very good relationship yeah. or something. And what her motivation is to help him. She obviously knows our sympathy for his condition or knows him very well. I met Sammy through work. Insurance, I was an investigator. I'd investigate the claims. I remember. Who's he talking to? I'm trying to figure them out. My job talking, the best way to find out what someone knew was just let him talk. Sammy was my first real challenge. Yo, Larry! I thought you split for good. Well, things change. So I see. My name's Teddy. I guess I've told you about my condition. Only every time I see you. Have I told you about Sammy Jenkins? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sick of hearing about the guy. What about John G? You think he's still here? Who? Johnny G, the guy you're looking for. I mean, that's why you haven't left town, am I right? Maybe. Leonard, look, <sighs> you have to be very careful. Why? The other day, you mentioned that maybe somebody was trying to set you up, get you to kill the wrong guy. Look, memory can change the shape of a room, it can change the color of a car, and memories can be distorted. Mm -hmm. They're irrelevant if you have the facts. You really want to get this guy, don't you? I killed my wife. Took away my fucking memory. He destroyed my ability. Well, I'm gonna get the best. What do you think? 
I don't know what room I have in my key. I probably left it in your room. <laughs> Wait, that uh, scenario. I checked in here, but I think I've misplaced my key. Before or after. Going, this is all before he killed. In the room, right? It keeps yeah, going but, back for. Yeah, but when was that? Come, when did he go to lunch with him? Was that before he was with the girl or after? Was he having lunch with her and then he went and got in his car and then he saw him? Was that what happened? Or. I don't see my key anywhere. Oh shit. This is the wrong room. Yeah. This was your room, but now you're in 304. When was I here? Last week. But then I ran into you another room on top of it. Why? So how many rooms am I checked into in this hall? Just two. So far. Uh -huh. At least you're being honest about ripping me off. Oh, you're not gonna remember anyway. <laughs> You want to say something? No. Okay. Okay, so that was been before. I just a 58-year-old semi-retired okay. accountant. He and his okay. wife have been in this car accident. Okay. The doctors. What is this phone conversation? Who is he talking to? But Sammy can't remember anything for more than a couple of minutes. Can't work. Can't do shit. The medical bills pile up. His wife calls the insurance company, and I get sent in. He'd watch TV, but anything longer than a couple of minutes was too confusing. He couldn't remember how it began. They weren't commercials. They were short. It's time for my shot. The crazy part was that this guy, who couldn't even follow the plot of Green Acres anymore, could do the most complicated things. And as long as he kept his mind on what he was doing. Is that how they did insulin before? Now the doctors assure me that there's a real oh, condition wow. called anterior grid. Now, I can read people, and I'm thinking, that actor. So now I'm suspicious, and I'll go to more tests. Oh, wait. Oh, where am I? Oh, must be her room. What is she? What do you mean? Shit, I gotta be someplace. It's pretty weird. It's useful. You never write a phone number on your hand? I, um, I should be able to talk to my friend. So... It's the first time that she's been with him like that. Yeah. Emily, she has also lost someone. She will help you out of pity. Yeah, I was thinking they went through some kind of trauma together. Mm hmm. Maybe he. Maybe when she was getting hit or something, he helped her. Uh, do you think we could just arrange a meeting now? I'm not too good on the phone. And she just kept getting intrigued by his condition. I'm helping you. Because you helped me. Okay. I think you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey, before you go, could I have my shirt back, please? Oh my god. Yo, let it! Hmm. Oh. Please, 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 good. Yeah. Sammy couldn't pick up. It's a test, Sam. So we'll test this, you fucking quack. Who the fuck is Dodd? Guess I don't have to worry about him anymore. What the fuck have you got me into? <laughs> Who is he? This is my problem. You offered to help. It has nothing to do with your investigation. How did you get me into this? You offered to help me when you saw what he did to my face. How do I know he did that to your face? Because I came straight to you after he did it. I showed you what he did, and I asked you to help me. Oh, and I just take your word. I think someone's fucking with me, trying to get me to kill the wrong guy. Did you? This has nothing to do with you. You help me out, and I'm grateful. You can question everything. You can never know anything for sure. Don't think you're a type. Well, she did see them all. Huh? No, I think this is before. Yeah, but when she woke up then, she kind of looked at it like it was the first time she saw it. Mm -hmm. His name is Jimmy. Went to meet somebody. He never came back. Who do you go to meet? A guy called Teddy. Huh. What do the police think? What? Oh, don't look too hard. John G. Maybe I can help you find him. Teddy? So you think she's got her hands on him like a while ago? And is just making him kill someone that she wants dead. 
and she's so been playing him the whole time. Yeah. If I could just reach over and touch what I can. Yeah, because he keeps saying Teddy. I know I can. He keeps calling him Teddy. Mm hmm. He keeps referring to himself as Teddy. The only time he got information about him being John is she at the restaurant. She gives him that says it is John. It was enough to suggest that his condition was psychological, not physical. We turned on his claim on the grounds that he wasn't covered for mental illness. Acting on instinct. God, that's good the shit out of me. said you needed my help. You know, I've had more rewarding friendships than this one. Although, I do get to keep telling the same jokes. Who the fuck is that? You don't know him? No, should I? Wait a minute. Is that John G? I don't think so. Man. You don't think so? You don't know? You didn't write it down? I might have fallen asleep before I did. For Christ's sakes! <laughs> Ask him. Right, he's he's got to have a car, right? Didn't show the picture of Natalie. We take him car, we tell him to get the fuck out of town or we're going to kill him. You can't just walk him out of here tied up and bleeding. How the fuck did you get him up here? I don't know. Uh. Must be his room. Great, let's go. No, 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 no. We can't just leave him here. Why not? Because the maid's going to walk in. She'll see him, call the cops. He can ID us. We clean him up and we march him out of here with a gun in his back. A gun? Why would I have a gun? Must be his. I don't think they'll let someone let me carry a gun. Which one? We should probably steal his car. You know, teach him a lesson. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's right for you to say you're the one with the jacket. All right, get in. Give me a key. Take your own car. Sinister mustache. Natalie, right? Who the fuck is Dodd? Sammy's wife was crippled by the cost of supporting him. Let him and fighting the company. Like separate, I guess, at that point mm -hmm. to go get in his car and then. I never said that Sammy was faking. Just that his problem was mental, not physical. I never said that he was faking. I never said that. Drunk? Did he just just drink it? I'm guessing he just woke up. Oh. Yeah, but he could have just drank it and forgot that he drank it. Oh yeah, that's true. That's I'm sitting there for so long. Still, did he did he like take a piss? He was taking a piss or something? I think the guy came into his yeah, but still with a shower. But still with a shower and somebody in your shower. God. So you think he's his friend? Is that, yeah, or is he giving himself tattoos? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what am I doing? <laughs> He's chasing me. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, can you imagine waking up and thinking you're chasing someone and realize that they're chasing you? Oh, what am I doing? I'm running. And... Oh my god. Sorry. Oh, the bottle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess it just shows you how fast he forgets. I don't feel drunk. <sighs> Before the guy's chasing him. His window's good. Yes. Do I know this guy? Thank you. Where'd you get it? Well, I haven't made a strong enough impression on you. Okay, so what am I doing? Mm -hmm. Ouch. Probably burn truckloads of your stuff. Can't remember to forget you. Remember to forget you? Talking to her. Is he good for you? I really like how this movie just keep on wanting to see the next five yes, minutes. Like yes. Like just con continually, what's going to happen in the next five minutes? What's going to happen in the next five minutes? There's never really. No. Like if, a downtime yeah if there is a downtime you don't realize it's a downtime because you're already hyped up for the next five minutes mm -hmm. first i just need you to put these things around the room. just pretend you're your things and this is your bedroom what should i marry no 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 I, you know just like you took it off I, I, I don't want you to use it i just i just been put around so weird. If I was a prostitute, I'd find that stuff weirder than sex. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd be like, uh, you're getting a little creepy. <laughs> this is a little out of my league. I'm used to the sex. Yeah. I mean, look at Sammy Jenkins. He's my wife going to do with it. I told him that if I just could say the right thing, he'd snap out of it and go back to being normal. Forget the company you work for for 30 seconds and tell me if you really believe that Sam is faking his condition. I believe that Sammy should be physically capable of making new memories. But she just needed some kind of answer. Didn't think it was important what the answer was. Just that she had one to believe. A car this nice you should lock. Who the fuck are you? Teddy, your buddy. Prove it. Sammy. Remember Sammy? You told me about Sammy. What the fuck are you doing in my car? What, your sense of humor one with the memory? Do you even know why you're here? You're still here because of Natalie. Who's Natalie? Schmuck, whose hmm. house do you think you just walked out of? Oh, that's right. Take a look at your pictures. I bet you got one of her. Nice shot, Leibowitz. You'll want to make a note. You can't trust her. Because by now, she's taking a look at this suit and the car, and she's starting to figure out ways of turning the situation to her advantage. You see these? This is the bar where she works. Her boyfriend's a drug dealer. She takes orders for him. He writes messages on the back of these. Because when she gets jammed up, she's going to use you to protect herself. Guys are going to want to know what happened to her boyfriend. Somebody always pays. Maybe she'll make it you. No. Because she doesn't know who I am. Why are you following me? Maybe I want to help. Write this down. When she offers to help, it'll be for her own reasons. I'm not lying. Take my pen. Write this down. Do not trust her. Hmm. She said her husband. Oh, yeah, because he had that scribbled out. I won't be happy until 
went to see Ted never came back. back. Mm -hmm. Yourself. What? Like, how did you get this suit, the car? I have money. From what? Oh. So in your grief, you wandered into a Jaguar dealership. Mm. You wander around, playing detective. You don't even know how long ago it was. Wait. Were you wearing designer suits when you sold insurance? I didn't sell insurance. Right, I investigated. Right, you were investigating. Well, maybe you should start investigating yourself. It's been fun, Lenny. <laughs> Where does he keep going, and why is he friends with him? I know. I mean, I guess we'll find all that out. Let's just keep going forward, but... I mean, I'm a claims investigator, not a doctor. Legal responsibility, large finance. Never answer the phone. Oh, my God. So forget who he's talking to. I just keep rambling on and on and on. What happened? What does it look like? He beat the shit out of me. Who? Who? Dodd beat the shit out of me. Why? Why? Because of you? Because I did what you told me to do. God, I have reason with the town about Teddy. Great fucking idea. Calm down. He already has the scratches on his face. Okay. I'll just get some ice. Yeah. I did exactly what you told me to do. And I told him that I, I didn't have any of Jimmy's money. And that this Teddy must have taken everything. I'll go see him. My wife used to call me Lenny. Yeah, I hated it. You just tell me what he looks like. And where I can find him. Have you got a pen? In my purse. I told him about your car. What? He was beating the shit out of me. I had to tell him something. I told him about your car. Because he was beating the shit out of me? Yeah. A car this nice, you should lock. Who the fuck are you? Hiding all the pens? You, you, yeah. You're just blissfully ignorant, aren't you? Condition. Yeah, I know all about your fucking condition, Leonard. Probably know more about it than you do. You don't have a fucking clue about anything Yeah, you're else. right. She's been playing him. What you took a lot of money with him and he never came back. I don't know if you know this, Teddy, or how well. Why? Don't protect him. I'm not. Help me. How? What would you kill for? Mm. Kill for your wife, wouldn't you? Don't talk about my wife. I can talk about whoever the fuck I want. I can say whatever I want, and you won't remember. I can call your wife a fucking whore, and we can still be friends. What's she trying to get in the hitter? You can't get scared, but hey, can you get angry? Yes. Oh, you pathetic piece of shit. Mm. I can say whatever the fuck I want, and you won't have a fucking clue, you fucking retard. And then she's going to say, Doug yeah. did it. I'm telling you now because I'm going to enjoy it so much oh, more. Oh, man. Stop. Did you lose your pen? Well, that's too bad, freak. She hit Otherwise, all. Otherwise, you could write your wife. Yeah. You know one of the causes of short-term memory loss is venereal disease. Maybe your cunt of a fucking wife. Some sad, sad freak. She's just sitting out there waiting. You can't find a pen. Oh, that's why he's going through that stuff when she comes in. She knows. What happened? What does it look like? You beat the shit out of me. Something woke me up. Hmm. There had to be a second man. You can stay here for a couple of days if it'll help you. Well, thanks. I have to go back to work. One thing. No. I need to remember you by. Take my call. Yeah. But 
him? Yeah. I mean, it's all fucked up. In the house. <laughs> oh, you really do have a problem. Just like that cop said. Hmm? I guess, does the scratch look fresher? That you do remember. Like it's like red around it? Yes. Was it always like that? or is No. It I know you're a cop, but what do you want? Have I done something wrong? I don't know, something bad maybe. Why are you asking me? I can't remember what I've done. You wouldn't believe me anyway. Because of my condition. You don't believe someone with this condition? Bernie's bar. Come by after Natalie. A beer, please. What do you want? You can't just waltz in here dressed like that and ask for a beer. Why is there a dress code? Why are you here? I'm meeting someone from Natalie. Well, that's me. Yeah, we met before, right? Then why am I here? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? I don't remember. I have no short term memory. It's not a you're, you're the memory guy. Yeah. Who's your boyfriend? Jimmy Grants. Do you know him? No. But he knows you. He told me about you. He said you were staying at the discount. In fact, a cop came by earlier and was looking for you. He said he was looking for a guy who can't remember anything, wouldn't know how he got here or what he'd done. Did Teddy send you? I don't know. What's happened to Jimmy? You don't remember anything. You don't remember where you've been or what you've just done. No, I can't make new memories. Everything just fades. I found this in my pocket. You are a pocket. That's Did you hear her? She said, you are a pocket. She looked at him and was like, you are a pocket. <coughs> Barbara. Here to contribute. No thanks. It's for a lot of money. Come on, proceed to go. Oh, you wanna watch a movie with us? It's completely fucked because nobody believes you. If I've done something like Sammy. I didn't tell you? What happened to Sammy and his wife? I thought she was just trying to catch me on guard, so I didn't tell her what I really thought, but I never said that he was faking. Just that his condition was mental, not physical. I found out later that she went home and gave Sammy his final exam. Sammy, it's time for my shot. She knew beyond a doubt that he loved her. So she found a way to test him. She just didn't want to live with the things she put him through. Sammy, it's time for my shot. Oh my god. She's like trying to prove him wrong. Yeah, so what she's doing like an insulin overdose. So she's she's believing right now that he is doing it on purpose. No, can't live with what she's done. You know how she's treated him. to seem less of a freak. Hey Lenny, how you doing? How did you know I was in here? Well, the Jag's out front. Should have put it around back. What are you still doing here, Lenny? All right, then give me the keys. I'll move for you. We'll be all right for a minute. Wait out there. He always wants his yeah. car. Yeah. I gotta get something for you. All right, we gotta get you out of here. Why? Oh, man. Come on, Lenny. How many times I gotta tell you? It's not safe for you to hang around here anymore. Why not? Because the cop's looking for you. He's a bad cop. He's the one who checked you into the discount. Man, he's been calling you for days now, telling you shit, slipping envelopes under your door, shit like that. How do you know this? He told me. He's been calling you up. Sometimes you don't answer the phone, so he slips shit under your door to scare you into answering the phone again. So take these clothes, put them on, and get the fuck out of here. Right. Come on, Leonard. Just go. What? It makes me think he's the cop, and he is fucking with him. I know. Especially after knowing all that information about the phone calls and the stuff that he's putting underneath his door. And he keeps looking at that same one that says, mm -hmm. don't believe his lies. Oh, he got that out of the bag. 
what? Is it don't trust? No, that Natalie meet after hours. Oh. Uh. Somebody else. That's okay. So that must be Jimmy's car. Whoever Jimmy is. Jimmy's her boyfriend, right? Is that who Jimmy was? Or was Jimmy the guy? Grant steals drugs out of the bar where his girlfriend works. He's not gonna bring her along. He'll come by himself, right? You're in the lobby? What do you look like? I'll be right there. What the hell are you doing? No. Come on. Now is it officer or lieutenant camera? You know what? Don't write camera. Just tell you. Why? I'm undercover. Mm. This is the directions where he's going. And I was on the bottom if you need me. You're not coming? No, nah, it wouldn't be appropriate. Hey, Lenny. He's driving a truck. Take him back. There's scratches on his face right now. Mm hmm. There's the car. Yes, that's her boyfriend. Or the man in the picture. Yeah. The cat. <laughs> you remember me? Yeah, I remember you. Where the fuck's Teddy? You're making a big fucking mistake, pal. Strip! Uh, nice. They're not the kind of people you want to piss off. Don't say anything else. You know, could trust that fuck. Take it off. Your pants too. Why? I don't want to get blood on them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, 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 wait! Did he tell you what I was doing? Take bringing? your fucking pants I've off! Got, I've got 200, 200 grand stashed in the car. Just take it. What? Just take it. You think you can uh, walk in? That's why I want the car. Take the money and walk away. I don't want your fucking money. Then what? Want my fucking life back! Scratch. Oh, scratch. So is she playing him to get to the root cause of? Cause she said he went to see a man named he went to see Teddy and never yeah. came back. Yeah. So is this the guy that killed his wife, he thinks? I'm not sure. Apparently, I mean, why else? Yeah. He said Sammy. How does he know about Sammy? Oh, fuck. What? He said Sammy. How does he know about Sammy? I need help. There's a, a guy in here. He's hurt bad. We gotta get him to a doctor. All right. Do I know you? No. Don't worry. I'm a cop. Still breathing? Well, I don't know. Maybe. I hope it's not as serious as his, because this guy's dead. Oh. Ow! Buddy! That shit killed! Oh, so you remember me now, huh? You are a fucking cop. Yeah! And I'm the guy to help you find him. He knew me. Of course he did. He raped your wife. He fucked up your brain. Bullshit. He's not the guy. His name is James F. Grant. John G. Check your tattoos. What was he bringing the 200 grand for? What? Yeah, that and your thing. Look, Manners, Jimmy's your guy. I just figured we'd make a few dollars on the side. How did he know me? The insulin. Oh, so it was him. Yeah. I was thinking so, it too. I thought it was like an old man. Over and over again. Sammy was a con man, a faker. It was your wife who had diabetes. Or not. Okay. You won't remember. When it's done, I will know. It'll be different. Well, I thought so too. In fact, I was sure of it, but you did it. I helped you find him over a year ago. He's already dead. Yeah, I'm sick of that. I was the cop assigned to your wife's case. I believed you. I thought you deserved a chance for revenge. We found him. You killed him. But you didn't remember. Start looking again. Looking for the guy you already killed. He was just using him now. So who was it? Just some guy. I mean, does it even matter who? But when you killed him, I, I was so convinced that you'd remember. But it didn't stick. Look how happy you are. 
I wanted to see that face again. I gave you a reason to live, and you were more than happy to help. No, John G. My name's John Edward Gamble. Cheer up. There's plenty of John G's for us to find. We should kill you. Quit it, Wendy. Come on. You're not a killer. That's why you're so good at it. Come on, what are you doing? You know what time it is? It's beer o'clock. I'm buying. Fuck. I'm not a killer. I'm just someone who wanted to make things right. Can I just let myself forget what you told me? Hey, hey, that's not your car. It is now. Jesus Christ, you can't take it. Why not? Because the guy you just killed owns it. Somebody will recognize it. I think I'd rather be mistaken for a dead. By my feet. Buddy. Was there a Sammy? I'm guessing there was no Sammy Jenkins. Unless he's Sammy Jenkins. Unless he's Sammy Jenkins. I mean, I think that That's the story of Sammy Jen Jenkins is him. So what? He ended up killing his wife. I guess of the insulin. Yeah. Yeah. But I just assumed that whole story was him telling a story about himself, and he just didn't realize it. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. But the end there was he, he had a moment that he realized he's fully capable of making his own memories and he decided to fuck with this cop. Oh, okay. That's what I took it as right at the end there. He decided now I'm going to, well, if that's the case, like he figured out if that's the case, if he's going to believe the cop that the cop told him that yes, we actually got revenge mm -hmm. on the guys and now he knows that instead of giving him a tattoo that says yo we we killed him mm -hmm. he's giving himself fresh tattoos to start fucking with this guy this cop okay. to give him like a purpose or something i don't know if it's a purpose but it's something he said we all need life outside or what the heck I feel like I'm going to have to watch it again. So what was the point of the girl? The that part I'm having trouble with. Why did she have him so that he, she would, he would hurt that guy? Yeah, yeah. She was trying to switch it around that he would kill that cop. I think she wanted either the money. She was expecting Jimmy to come back. Remember when he pulled up in the car mm -hmm. and it wasn't Jimmy. Mm -hmm. So her... Seeing somebody else driving Jimmy's car, I don't know why she didn't immediately say, what the fuck you know, where is he, and who are you? Yeah. But did she know him at that point? Because I was really, sorry. like, when you think about it, I mean, nothing really came out of that except for him going after the drug dealer and... Or do you think she was really... Well, See, I figured that she, once her boyfriend was missing, yeah. or her husband or whoever, she wanted to find out where he went and get the money that was missing. So this, is, like, she figured out this is how she could do it. Once that cop started snooping around Ew. and asking about the guy who doesn't have a memory, then she s met him. Because remember when she saw him at the bar, the next when she actually saw him at the bar... And we thought it was their their first introduction. Uh -huh. She said, "You're the memory guy." Yes. She so the cop. she was introduced to the cop at that point before she actually met him. But she recognized him from pulling in in his car. 
But that's what I mean. He had her boyfriend's clothes on and he was driving her boyfriend's yeah. car. Like, so she, well, she was. I think she was being like slow, suspicious. But she didn't really do it. Like, what was the whole point of it? Like, nothing happened. Nothing mm. came of it, right? Nothing came of it. What was her whole whole purpose? Like, their whole relationship. And she slept with. Yeah, I thought it was just a way of getting close to answers for her. Did she get answers though? I don't think so. No. I mean, she had him hit her, and I got that because I don't. I was assuming she wanted him to do something to that guy but we really don't know why or because when it comes down to it if you're thinking anybody did anything to your boyfriend you would think it's the person that's pulling up in his car and has his clothes on yeah and then not only that she said about meeting terry i don't know like i just don't understand teddy. like i mean teddy or Maybe she didn't really understand, like, even though he was saying about his memory loss, maybe she was keeping him close because she knew the money. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. She wanted to get the money somehow. Yeah, but, like, she didn't go about doing anything about that. Well, maybe it was just her being cautious and knowing there's a cop. Yeah, but then why was she after the... She was just after the drug dealer just because he was after her because he needed the money. Like, why did she have him beat up the drug dealer? You know what I mean? Why like, did why did she act like she got beat up by the drug dealer? Why yeah, the she... guy that... That he had in the closet. Yeah. Just the random drug dealer that apparently her boyfriend owed money to. And that's apparently why he beat her up. But I don't know if she decided to do that so that maybe he'd be like, oh, I have the money, and then give it to her because he felt she felt bad, or you know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm definitely going to enjoy watching this again when I edit. If you want to watch it again, I don't blame you. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed it. It was definitely something that I felt like I couldn't look away because yeah. there was constantly something. And like we said it during the movie, we were so looking forward to the next thing that was happening and the next part of the story to put the puzzle together. And even so, if we don't have the puzzle together completely right now... So the we'll, person on the phone was Teddy? The person on the phone was the, the cop. And the cop the whole time. With, yeah. Okay. At that point, he was having fun with him and using him to his advantage. Okay. I think. Well, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Based on the response from A Clockwork Orange, I'm looking forward to uh, some of the comments. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see what people think. Yeah. And again, I'm probably going to do a little more, I don't know, research, get a better sense of this. Thanks, Brandon, for the recommendation. Yeah. And I'll uh, see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>